Welcome to this three-minute trend talk for Tuesday, November 17th, 2015. I'm Mark Scheffler, Senior Portfolio Manager, founder of the Appleton Group and Clear Trend Research. We've gotten into a bit of no man's land here in the markets in the past month and a half or so. At the end of September, the markets were down pretty sharply. S&P was down around 6%. International markets were down 10 to 12%. And commodities, which represent a significant piece of the global economy, were down nearly 20%. So we're seeing quite a bit of uh, deterioration back at the end of September. Since October, though, the markets have really been all over the place. We saw a significant move upwards in U.S. markets and some international markets as well. Um, That happened in the first six weeks of the quarter, and then we saw a bit of a sell-off just in the last couple of weeks or so. So it's really been all over the place, and we call it no man's land. It's not unusual, actually, um, for trend followers like our strategy, and we're looking for a significant move in one direction or another, and that's pretty typical. That happens most of the time. Right now, we're in a position, though, where there really is no trend. Markets move up, markets move down, and we've been in this really pretty tight range. So we haven't seen a whole lot of movement yet. So as a result, we have a neutral posture really in all of our risk managed strategies. We're not overly optimistic. We're not overly pessimistic right now. And our overall asset allocation really reflects that. In most of our managed portfolios, we'd be somewhere around 50 to 60 percent invested in uh, positions that are the seeds of our portfolio, really, those ETFs that we would own and those indexes that we would own when markets are fully cooperative. So we're really overweighting a bit on uh, large company um, stocks from uh, not only the U.S., but around the globe as well. Um, real estate and um, some international markets. But aside from that, not really a whole lot that we're excited about and not a lot to be overly pessimistic about either. So we've seen this before. How often do markets not trend? Well, not very much. They actually trend about 85% of the time. So you know, about 15% of the time, markets just don't move in a concerted direction. That typically doesn't last too long, though, when uh, in the past 15 years, we've seen single-digit market moves either up or down. Typically, that's followed in a year where the market really does move um, significantly, either up or down as well by double digits. Um, The bias is about even upside to downside. So we're not too concerned about it right now. The markets are actually acting pretty normally. And, you know, why is that the case? Well, we're still looking at uh, what kind of news is the market getting. Uh, Bad news in the the economy is actually good news for the markets. It means that the Fed is less likely to raise rates at their December meeting. They've wanted to raise rates for a long time, and they've just not been able to pull the trigger on doing that. So as the economy ends up digesting some some bad news, either here in the U.S., or in the overseas um, markets as well. It can be economic news, can be political moves, can be um, the other types of really um, bad news that we saw uh, last week as well over in France. Uh, Unfortunately, the reality is that uh, the less uh, predictability there is and the more uncertainty there is, the less likely it is that the Fed is going to raise rates. So we'll have to stay tuned to that. Uh, Of course, we'll keep uh, an eye on that. And then we'll always continue to adjust our portfolios to make sure that we are on the wrong side of the market as much as possible. So we use the phrase um, invest in comfort, and that's exactly what we're talking about, making people feel as comfortable as possible. So until next time, this is Mark Scheffler wishing you all the best.